Hello my little gumdrops and angels, today we'll be doing a tutorial on how to become a VTuber on Discord. Isn't this so cute? All you'll need is a webcam and perhaps a little bit of acting skills to move your head around and, and talk and, and be clinically insane. Let's get on with the tutorial, please. Please kill me. So to start off, we need to open up Steam and we need to look for PRPR Live in the little search bar. And when you do that, you just want to scroll down and click on free and we want to install this application. Open this bad boy up and look what we have. A disaster on our screen. Let it load for a little bit and now you'll have this wonderful screen. Click on this don't show again today and press X. And then it won't pop up just for today, but tomorrow, guess what? It'll pop up. Anyways, what we need to do is we actually need to click on Live 2D and you'll notice that we have nothing here. You wanna to go to the link in the description and you will see this web page here. This is booth.pm. You will need to sign in and create an account to download stuff. Once you do that, sweetheart, then you can just look through any of these and find something you like. There are a couple of caveats. I'm using this for a YouTube video. So I have to find uh, someone uh, that allows me to use this VTuber for commercial use. If you're just using this for Discord, just pick whatever one you like. In this case, I'm just gonna try out this one uh, for no particular reason. Um, but if you're looking for commercial use ones, you will have to scroll down and Google Translate this to figure out if you can use it for commercial use. Anyways, let's say this is the one you want. Just click on free download and you will download it. Now, I didn't sign in and I didn't sign up. So that's why I'm saying you need to sign up and sign in. Anyways, sign in or sign up, then you should be able to download it. Now, I already am ahead of everyone here and I have it already downloaded. Well, at least some other one. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a folder called Super Hot Gamer VTuber. Just create a folder, and I'm going to double click and open up that zip file. Now you'll get a whole bunch of files like this. What we wanna do is just select all these files and throw them into our Super Hot Gamer VTuber folder. It's that easy. Now it's already been copied over. If I open up the folder, you'll notice that we have all these files. All I need to do is just go back to that PRPR Live, click on Load, then when I click on load, I need to navigate to my downloads, double click on super hot gamer VTuber. Then I need to click on this .model3.json file. When I double click on that, it'll pop up with a little thing here. We wanna click on that and guess what? We now have a whole bunch of controls. We have hold alt, do all this stuff. I already read this, but feel free to read this when you actually do this and it'll show you how to like move your model around. In this case, I'm already a professional at it. It's totally not because I messed up this video like 13 times. So this is where the webcam stuff comes in. As you can tell, this VTuber is just a photo and there's a dog in the background and there's lines. Pretty boring. So what we need to do is we just need to go to face capture settings. Click on that bad boy. And first off, we need to turn on this audio based lip sync. If I turn it on, we need to restart face capture. So I'm going to click start capture. And now you'll notice that, uh, oh, look at that. So things are kind of working. Um, as you can tell, there's eye movement. So I'm looking to the left, I'm looking to the right, and the face is kind of moving. Now, if you want to see exactly what's going on, then all you need to do is just click on show camera. Then for me, since I don't want to show my face, uh, click hide face, and it'll pop up with this little window here. And this will show you how my face looks. So if you see anyone whose face has a whole bunch of green pixels and red eyes, that's probably me. Feel free to say hi. And you notice that my mouth turns into something crazy like that. And that's because I have a boom microphone arm. So you will need to keep that in mind. If you have a normal person headset, this is not going to be a problem. But if you're a pro gamer streamer that has a pro gamer streamer mic, things are going to look a little sour for you. Now, Here's the thing, when you talk as a VTuber, you need to accentuate your face a lot and move it around a lot because I'm gonna show you. If I just talk like a normal person, not moving at all, you'll notice that the VTuber just doesn't really do a whole lot. You also notice that the uh, mouth sync isn't the best. However, if I start adding a lot more face motion, wow, look, it's like, it's like it's a real person on my television screen. So just keep that in mind. You'll have to do a little bit of normal acting Anyways, uh, we can hide the camera. Not gonna show my face. As you notice, the eyes for this one are just kind of like, uh, like really, really tripping out. It looks like I'm having some sort of mental breakdown. Then we can go to the top left up here and we can actually mirror symmetry for the eyes. And that will make it where one eye or both eyes control what's going on. So if my eyes start to squint a little bit, 
then uh, both eyes will close. Same thing goes with eyebrows. So uh, you move your eyebrows around and uh, they both move. I just personally think it's a little bit better. If your blinking doesn't work that well, then uh, click on auto blink and <laughs> in case your eyes get stuck or you just don't blink, it'll automatically blink for you. In that case, I didn't blink there. All stuff you can do. You can also body block. So if you just want to move your head around, then the body won't move. I personally feel like body block makes it a little bit more uh, more animated in a sense, which is good for an audience or whoever you're talking to. Anyways, there's a whole bunch of other bogus stuff here. We're not going to worry about that. We're going to click on X. And now we're going to go to video streaming. What we want to do is we want to turn this on and we want to click install on virtual camera. Now it's going to pop up with a whole bunch of stuff. Just click OK. And if you see success, you, Exante Goo, ASCII stuff, A, uh, whatever that is, just press enter. There you go. Now we have a virtual camera that we can actually use in Discord. So keep this application open. What we want to do is we want to open up Discord. Oh, goodness. What we want to do is we want to go into our user settings. We need to go to voice and video. Then in video settings, make sure you have your camera set to PRPR Live Virtual Camera DX. Then when you have that, if you click test video, you'll notice, wow, look at that. It's a VTuber in my thing. Wow. Uh, anyways, make sure your input devices are your microphone and your output device is your headphones, all that normal bogus stuff. Click escape. Then we can join a voice channel. I can talk to myself, go absolutely nuts. I can turn on my camera and wow, look at that. People are really gonna think I'm a VTuber. Now, let's go back to PRPR Live real quick. So here's the thing. What if you don't want this nasty background? Well, you can click disable animation background, but it will have it as a green screen. What you can also do is click on video streaming and you can change the color. So you can have it as white, which is a little more neutral. And I think that would be uh, perfect for whatever you're doing on Discord or whatever. Uh, in this case, you'll notice that the webcam can be a little weird, especially with Discord, it's a little laggy, whereas compared to PRPR, it's a lot more smooth, but that's just the way it goes, okay? This isn't meant to be something perfectly magical that really does transform you into the 2D anime girl of your dreams. Rather, it's just something to pull up with your friends on, and then they'll think, wow, I'm finally talking to a girl for the first time in my life. Obviously, you may need to uh, do some voice changing of some sort. I personally really like to squeeze what I got, shove it right up into my body, and then I get a little louder, and, and then other things, you know, and wow, I'm totally not trying to catfish someone. Anyways, that's basically it. Now, if you ever wanted to uninstall this stuff, it's very easy. You just pull up in Steam, you just right-click the game, manage, uninstall. It's kind of like that easy. Who would have thought, right? Anyways, uh, I, th I think that's the video. I love you, Toby, my son. Have a fantastic day at school. Mwah! So, I think I'm losing it. Anyways, uh, goodbye. Haha. <laughs>